Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling News. I'm your host, Boise, and here's all the news coming from WWE. Now, usually we do a load of big, you know, little stories and report on them, but today I'm focusing on one story in particular, and that is uh, a report coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Now, they came out with a report talking about the current Fox WWE deal for SmackDown Live. Now, the interesting thing about all this is that one day reported that it's Stephanie McMahon and Triple H who are the spearheading it for WWE and Murdoch is spearheading it for Fox. So they are very much high up executives doing this deal. Now, that's not the interesting thing. It's interesting for Stephanie and you know, that Stephanie's the one leading this one and you know it's showing that Vince is giving her more responsibilities in these type of areas in the business but that's not the bit I'm most interested in it is a quote that the reporter got for this and it states Murdoch insists that NBCU the parent company of the USA Network was embarrassed by WWE products and Fox he said would fully embrace WWE with SmackDown promos airing across sports programming every night of the week along with a weekly studio show on FS1. Now what that exactly means is for us over here in the UK, imagine this. You go on Sky Sports News, you click it on, you got your, obviously they do the, the football section, they do the cricket section, the rugby section, the horse racing section. And then, then they would start doing the wrestling section. That would be absolutely brilliant. Now for me, I think this is great. This gives a bigger audience time. You know, if you don't have time to watch Smackdown, you can get the lowdown of what's going on through Fox Sports, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Because let's be honest, leading up to WrestleMania, a lot more casual fans will probably watch, you know, Fox Sports to get what's going on from the last couple of months to the build-up to WrestleMania. Brilliant marketing right there from both WWE and Fox. It means that, hell, fans will probably be more invested when they know there's a big story going on because they're being told by Fox Sports News. Brilliant, love that. Not just that, but the bit about a weekly studio show. Now that's the bit which has got most fans excited. This has made us all speculate that possibly we'll be seeing the return of Talking Smack. Now Talking Smack was absolutely one of the best bits about the original brand split with this brand split and it was fantastic from start to finish and what killed it off was that Vince McMahon just went it's costing too much money to do, we're cancelling the show. Mind-blowing why that happened, because it was one of the best parts of the show, and fans really enjoyed it. Hell, there was even a, you know, Patreon to try and save it. That's how crazy fans were to try and save the show. Now, with that in mind, that just opens up more possibilities. If this is true, and they are going to get a weekly show and it is going to be Talking Smack. This gives wrestlers on Smackdown more opportunity to shine for a bigger audience. Now, that's going to be absolutely brilliant because Talking Smack was all about unwritten promos. These were wrestlers talking for themselves and it would work. I just hope this is the format they will go for because it would be brilliant. But we have to wait to see how much more detail is released later on. Obviously, they're not going to tell us everything right now because, let's be honest, the the deal is still quite new and it's quite fresh. Uh, WWE and Fox haven't even agreed a settlement yet. Obviously, they're talking about a billion dollars. Right? My God, that's just crazy. But once we know what happens, we will post it up on here. But there you go guys, what do you think? The possibility of Talking Smack returning, how crazy is that? That is just absolutely brilliant. If you do like this video, why are you not liking and subscribing to the channels? Come on guys, press the like, 
press the subscribe and let's get on. Um, and don't forget you can follow the channel itself at Smack Talk YouTube. That's Smack Talk YouTube. And you can follow me on all Twitter as well at Boise88. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling News.